yeah hello thank you uh, i have a light talk 10 minutes and good thing about my talk after my talk you will get the t-shirts so please listen carefully so yeah thank so i am talking about the java script type script ecosystems uh, node everybody using node everybody using npm i am telling you to new body in the java script ecosystems one is deno one is jsr so I'll go through quickly how it is you can explore it. And about myself, my name is Kesho. I work in a company called JB Morgan Chase. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, so this is my agenda, brief JavaScript ecosystems, Deno versus Node, then JSR versus NPM, then demo and some FAQs. Okay, so JavaScript ecosystems. It starts from alert. We are earlier we starting with alert for JavaScript. Now it's going to the AI. So there are browser APIs right now. Uh, Node.js, jQuery. I especially mention I my special attachment to this one. So I started learning JavaScript more through the jQuery. ECM scripts. Right now it's ECM scripts. TypeScript is the new hero. Is the safety net for the JavaScript. And the frameworks, there are a lot of frameworks. Every new day, new framework is coming. Yesterday comes one, one is take something. So JavaScript ecosystem is very vast. It is saying when I mean the heaviest object in the universe is node modules. So that is the problem with the node modules, right? My company, most of the time I am doing NPM install, nothing else. It's breaking, package log, delete. Node module delete, start npm start. And when we are working from home, npm install and go lunch, take bath, then again come. So there is too much configuration. I like Santos told about all the things in JavaScript system. Like if you are setting a new project in Node.js, we require server stop if TypeScript. Right now, everything in TypeScript, we are using with the TypeScript, everything. So we have to set up the TypeScript TS config file, something, something. Set up testing framework, just, just mean whatever it is. Set up a formatter, then set up a linter, then the type checker, then your bundler and the right plugins. There are so many things we have to make align. And if one of the version update, some things will break in your system. Again, you, you are working not on the code, but working on these things. So that is pain point. And after that tooling, you have to tweak the config for your need. So that's why Node is a little bit heavy. I, I mean, Node have, but Deno, Deno have all thing inbuilt. It's a things joke like Node dot split dot sort dot join, then it's become Deno. It's a built by Node JS creator itself, and it's security in mind. It do not like Node JS have a security issue, but Deno have a security inbuilt. If you try to access network, you have to allow some things. Otherwise, it will say that you have a security. The security perspective is very important for the, because Node.js are vulnerable, some of cases. TypeScript support by default. You do not need to add TIS config and everything. No more package JSON, no more node modules. So things how life will be. Can you think about it? Easy to start and deno deploy. That is very good. Deno deploy. You just click deno deploy, your website is deployed. No, nothing to do. Deno itself have a support. And it's version two launch just 10 days back. Okay, this is basic syntax. You just install Deno you know, by using curl. And then run TypeScript file simply run. This is optional. Okay, so you can run directly Deno. I'll give you demo if a time. So Deno main.ts. You initialize when you initialize some things. The Deno dot JSON will be generated. That is a equal to package dot JSON, but not dev dependency. Nothing. Single line, char, four lines of code, nothing else. And this is formatting. If you want to format, it automatically format. It automatically type script. Type type script automatically enabled. It say it's error something. FMT is a format file name. And if you want to type checking, you can use check or dash check all. It will check everything. So it's not npm run lint. Npm run something. And watch HMR. If you are writing a file. If you, HMR means hot module reloading. If you are changing something, you should not to rebuild again. So there is, if you use watch HMR, that options, it will automatically update on runtime. 
तो कंपेयरिंग विथ नोड इज इंपॉर्टेंट पैकेज जो सुन जैसन चंद हुए टास्क दो जैसन एन पी एम रन टर्न इन टू द डेनो डो टास्क डेनो टास्क वॉट एवर द टास्क नेम एन पी एम इंस्टॉल पैकेज यू कैन यूज एन पी एम डेनो एड इफ एन बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ पैकेज आर नॉट इन द बिकॉज पैकेज आर एन पी एम नाउ डेनो अगेन क्रिएटेड वन पैकेज रजिस्ट्री देखिए जे एस आर जवास्क्रिप रजिस्ट्री सो डेनो हैज अ ब्यूटी लाइक यू डू नॉट नीड टू इंस्टॉल लाइक एन पी एम इंस्टॉल यू डायरेक्टली यूज द यू आर एल ई एस एम डॉट एस एच फाइव ई एस एम डॉट एस एच वन ऑफ द वट एवर द पैकेज इट इज इट इज अवेलेबल ऑन ई एस एम डॉट एस एच सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली यूज विथ यू आर एल नो नीड टू इंस्टॉल दैट इज अक्यूरिटी यू रिमू सो यू कैन इम्पोर्ट नोड नोड ऑथेंटिक नोड्स इन बिल्ड सिस्टम लाइक एफ एस और एस एच नोड कोलन समथिंग यू इम्पोर्ट रिएक्ट लाइक यू हैव टू इम्पोर्ट एन पी एम कोलन रिएक्ट this time you have to install react npm uh, sorry react so installing react again you have to install like install install N, npm colon something you have to install like that way or direct import url that is important you have to url direct whatever the package name you just use it in on top of your file it will be there dependencies becomes the imports if you want it there is imports uh, properties there imports property in deno or json there is a dependencies if you want suppose you have a package log json package json you want to use your package json with deno so there is a you, there is a one more property i forgot to add uh, that is you say package json auto or true uh, recently changed change to true earlier it was auto jsr it's built by deno itself it's very easy to publish everything you publish just one single line command it's made for type script i am talking about both of type script deno is inbuilt type script support jsr is inbuilt type script support no need to use require anything so just import always import and it's not a replacement of npm it's a super set of npm just like a type script super set of java script works with any run time there is important deno bun node js cloud fair whatever the package you built it will build anywhere otherwise what happens in cjs module esm modules you have to use require somewhere you should import so, so that's uh, that's headache will be uh, erased the jsr is doing itself deno work with the jsr package very well you do not need to add npm col means package if you directly package name not npm colon so they understand it's a jsr package i'll tell you how to build it i have built two three zip packages automatic api documentation from the source code jsr automatically do the api documentation you don't need to do anything you just install Build the package. It will generate your readme file automatically when you go to the npm JSR registry. Zero config uh, publishing from the GitHub action. They give the GitHub action. You just write it automatically publish. Whenever you put something, commit something, it automatically publish it. And automatically inclusion of d.ts file like definition .ts file. Whenever we have a Java any file, you have to if something is not found, that type is not found. So you have to create something d.ts. Definite, definition dot ts file so automatically generate for all node and npm so you can install jsr package in npm also you just use npm install jsr colon whatever package it is so it's install jsr package in the node also so package file this is geno dot json this is package file for the jsr nothing else you write your package name version this is your file your, your code is that's all three line of code publish package just write npx jsr publish or if you are using deno deno publish your package is published so simple is that there are deno based framework fresh lume astro ono they are also supporting deno these are the new frameworks deno based framework fresh lume and static site generator and things that's all thank you I'll give you the demo. I'll give you. So this is imports. Here you can add anything. Deno run watch. I am using this one. This is formatted code. You do not need it. If you want to change it, you can add it. You want to use tabs or something. 
nothing earlier it was right default everything is working so this is basic deno.json file i have added all the way of everything which is required Com compiler options it, this is ts config okay if you want to change in a ts config do not have ts config so anything ts config.json goes here specific to your your things your package this is fmt formatting things task this is like scripts you just use it then or run and everything will there like i i'll show you like try dot js this is try dot js i just use this log deno and okay i use deno try dot js so it's automatically it's running with best based on means automatically ts if you now now you see this is js file i'm not using ts but it is typing if i use dot ts check it will change the typing of the js file also if i use uh, deno check type check types yeah see it is giving this is parameter in it's typing in the javascript it's saying this is javascript file the type is not matching because i am using name as any if i'm using something else like uh, if i use a number things let x equal to 20 okay and let i add So it is saying a string is not assignable to number. Whether it is JavaScript file, but it is checking types. And if I like main.ts, and here I use teno.hmr. And book to this. It is saying hello, Deno, and if I using uh, So it is giving it means it is changing runtime. I do not need to restart. So these are the few things you have to go check Deno JS. It's good, very good. You have to know alternative of everything. That's all. Thank you.